<laughs> it took me a while to <laughs> to figure out what what was like what the right to censor was all about and like what it was making fun of. I didn't realize it was making fun of the PTC at the yeah. time, which was trying to like censor everything that was going on on Raw at the time. Who pitched you this idea for right to censor? Believe it or not, this is this is funny. I went from obscurity of working jacked and metal and once in a while on Raw, imitating, doing the parody. So maybe yeah, yeah. that gave gave them the idea. Vince came up and pinched, pitched to me himself. And I mind you, outside of the time that I walked up to Vince on my first day, shook his hand and thanked him for the opportunity. And he said, let's have some fun. And didn't even ask me my name or anything and just walked away. That's the next time that Vince had talked to me. So you have to imagine it's like, wow. And the interesting thing about the right to censor was, I don't think it was supposed to be for the long term, And I don't think it was supposed to turn him to what it did. Uh, it was obviously supposed to be a political statement against the parent television council and uh, yeah. Bozell. Uh, it was supposed to really be something of a middle finger and F you to that. But also at the same time, it, it gave me the opportunity to, to really look at myself and have people look at me in a completely different light that I can, I can talk and I can talk in this vein, not just the silly comedy and the writer uh, Jamie Morris, who actually has a YouTube channel, Jacob Israel, he was like basically right on the pulse of doing that and knowing that not only a political thing could last a month or two, but it kind of dies out. Yeah. But a cult, a cult like thing that gathers some, some steam. And he goes, we have to turn and kind of twist it into more cult like phrases and look into my eyes. I'm doing this for your own good. All these different things that created like a Stockholm syndrome within those groups and stuff. It's, it yeah. was kind of fascinating. He, he, he brought a whole new layer to me thinking about promos, whole new psychology to it. So Jamie, Jamie, I have to thank him for that too. Was that the worst entrance music of all time? I do. Let me ask you a question. Yes. It, it, short answer is yes. But uh, I, I, and I would get migraines sometimes. I'd be like, please just to have us run out without the music. Uh, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you think if the right to censor was on TV today, even maybe even strictly on the nostalgia, do you think it would get cheered? No, I don't think it would get cheered because I think it would be, you guys would be booked as heels. I, I don't think with the PG product, they would put out the right to censor at all. Not in WWE, not currently. Well, the reason why they did it and they really ran with it was because the talent was beating themselves up way too much. So I think there was a protection factor and also to peel uh, the product intensity back, the violence, excuse me, the violence, that meant when you did see it, you appreciated it. Or when it was yeah. done to me, you really appreciated it. Yeah. So the, the, like they were smart to continue to run with that and maybe give guys a little bit more of a reset to not feel like they have to keep going further and further and further. Well, it definitely got you and everybody in right to censor over as like mega heels. Like I actually, I had a friend, I would, I would go over to his house to watch raw. And when you guys came out, he would mute the TV because your <laughs> entrance theme was so annoying. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's that. Uh, that's, that's the, that's a compliment. I don't, I don't I take offense to that at all. That's, that is a compliment. He didn't switch the channel. So that makes me, you know, no, would mute it till you guys got in the ring and be like, Oh geez, that annoying beeping is finally over. Yeah. You can even mute my promo as long as you're still tuning in for that quarter hour. <laughs> Let me ask you the, the question in this context, if the right to censor music hit at the Royal rumble, would it get, see, that's a different oh, mega pop. Of course, huge pop. Mega pop, Until and you, then I would I would say that the rumble's canceled. I would be number one. <laughs> Tell so rumble's you, canceled. Go home. Huge pop for Stevie Richards, Steven Richards coming out to the right to censor music, and then I imagine on your way down to the ring for the Royal Rumble, you would do something heelish, and the crowd would then turn on you. Absolutely, the LED the LED panels would just come and try to fall on me. Yeah, <laughs> if it was today. If there's people there, it'd be different. Hey, it's Chris, and thank you so much for checking out this video on my brand new YouTube channel, CVV Clips, which, as the name suggests, we're gonna post clips from some of my favorite interviews. Don't worry, the main channel isn't going anywhere, but if you subscribe to that one, make sure you subscribe here as well. Also, check out these videos down here that YouTube thinks you might like.